Germany's new coalition exemplifies the age-old adage, opposites attract. The Social Democrats, who were the junior party to Angela Merkel's Christian Democrats in the last government, believes the state has a large role to play in social welfare, while the new coalition's two smaller parties seem almost diametrically opposed. The Greens vow to protect the environment from Germany's dirty industry, while the Free Democratic Party wants to liberate industry from burdensome regulation. The most valued asset for this coalition to be successful will surely be compromise. While many of the traditional issues facing most governments were thrashed out over two months of negotiations between the three parties, other unpredictable issues could very well deepen divides. While two-party coalitions are quite the norm here in Germany, never has the country been ruled by a three-party coalition, one that has three parties with very differing views. Their first pressing issue will be COVID-19, for which they have already set up a task force to deal with the pandemic on a daily basis. But more specific measures, such as mandatory vaccinations, are likely to prove divisive. Incoming Chancellor Olaf Scholz from the SPD has spoken out in favor of compulsory vaccinations, but the coalition partner, the FDP, is fundamentally opposed to restrictions on individual freedoms. The new government ministers are divided according to election results, with the SPD taking six ministries, including health, plus the chancellery. The Greens have five, including a new climate and economy ministry, aiming towards climate neutrality without impeding growth. And the party's co-chair, Annalena Baerbock, is the country's first female foreign minister and has already signaled a change of course with major world powers such as China and Russia. The coalition's dead averse FDP have four ministries, which includes the all-important top finance job, meaning party leader Christian Lindner is now finance minister and thereby holds a de facto veto over the other two parties' spending plans. They may be odd bedfellows, but many are eager to see how this will work in practice. Angela Merkel was a really great woman. But I think it has to be a change. I don't, I don't think that it's only the green one or the FDP or the SPD, but altogether there could be a change in the government. And I think this would be very successful because altogether they have an opinion. I think it's, it's nice with new fresh energy because Merkel was so long and then like, it's nice to have something new finally. I don't expect anything new. It's the same as before. Scholz or Merkel is the same, unfortunately. There's nothing going coming new except what comes through the corona, because the worst is yet to come. With the country's new chancellor, Olaf Scholz, expected to be voted in by the Bundestag on Wednesday, the three parties are due to fill the government benches from the second week of December.